welcome back to the Sunday morning fishing show well today guys I'm in one of my favorite spots but if you were here with me the other day I know Julie was so thank you very much for you and your husband playing with me that was really fun guys um, but we're just having a good time relaxing doing some fishing here and we got ambushed out of the nowhere and we got pretty much slaughtered guys but you know what that's all right we had a good time and we are still catching lots of fish so I thought I would come back here and hopefully I don't get slaughtered during the show but we're gonna catch some steelheads and we're gonna move them into the night time this time usually I never do any fishing at night uh, unless it's going for the catfish or something nocturnal uh, but for steelheads, it just usually don't bite too hell too well at night. But today I'm gonna I'm gonna prove myself wrong, and we're gonna go and uh, do some night fishing as the sun's just dropping down on us now. I see a lot of action out there. Fish are jumping all over the place. One of my favorite things when I love walking up to a spot and fish start jumping. Oh man, that means that they're active and hungry, and all we gotta do is just get our line out in the water and start bringing them in. As I'm saying bringing them in, I'm not catching shit. With this, all that action, I don't know what's going on. There must be all little guys. I got a big lure on going for the steelhead right now. That's alright, we'll just switch up the spots, move them over here. Use your fish finder guys, it's not a big deal. Everyone's got one. So go ahead and use it so you can land your cast where you want them to be. Not wasting time out there reeling in for nothing. But like I said, you gotta be patient guys. It's fishing. None of this stuff is every single cast of fish. Sometimes you take some time. Oh man, this thing's fighter. You can pull my line right across the river there. That's one thing with steelheads, man. They are known to be one of the uh, underwater acrobats. They do all different types of twists and turns, and they jump like crazy in real life. They are very jumpy fish, and the, which actually makes them quite challenging sometimes to actually reel them in without losing them. Because uh, depending where you fish for them, you can't actually use barbs. Around here, we got a lot of protected fishing. Uh, so they don't let you use barbs on your hooks. Uh, so that's a, that's a secondary little piece of uh, metal that kind of sticks the opposite way. So when the fish pulls, it actually hooks into the fish better. Um, some places you're not allowed to use any of that. It can just be a flat hook all the way around without any extra sharpness to it. Or edges or whichever you want to kind of... It's hard to describe, I guess. But um, they're beautiful fish. And I completely understand why they're protected. Um, a lot of fish are around here because you don't want people overfishing them, netting them, and just doing all the illegal stuff that kind of hurts the fishing industries out there and stops us from uh, catching them, having a good time when we're doing so. But like I said, uh, I'm going to bring in Steelhead all night long. I'm going to have a good time doing it. Oh man, I'm really glad you guys are tuning in today. I don't know what episode we're on, 35 or 6 or something. A lot of episodes we've been doing this for, so anyone who's been watching them from day one, thank you very much for sticking it out. Very cool. And hey, I, I have a fan club now, so if you guys want to join up, completely up to you. Get a little standing out in the chats and in the live streams and all that fun stuff. If you want to go pick up a Sunday morning fishing show mug or a hooked on fishing t or a sweater, sorry, you can do that at the merch store. So make sure you go and check that stuff out. Super cool. Uh, but with that all said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.